Hello everyone, greetings of the day. Hopefully you all are safe and following the precautions. Today I am going to explain about the spherical aberration and how the human eye reduces it. So first talk about the spherical aberration. The spherical aberration is a phenomenon that occurs when the light rays strike at the periphery of the lens and after refraction made before the actual focus in case of contact lens that can cause blurry vision or decreased image quality. Now let's talk about how the anatomical structure of the eye reduces the spherical aberration. The human eye reduces the spherical aberration first at the cornea, second at the iris and third at the crystalline lens. The cornea reduces the spherical aberration because of its aspheric shape that it is thin at the center and thick at the periphery and owing to that the peripheral rays do not bend that much as they bend after the refracting by the normal convex lens. The iris, the iris blocks the peripheral rays entering into the pupil in the normal condition and it's past the paraxial rays. The last one crystalline lens. It has the greater density at the center and in the layer of greater curvature than the peripheral portion. Treatment The spherical aberration can be reduced by the use of aspheric lenses, intraocular lenses or by the refractive surgery. The spherical aberration can also occur in abnormal conditions such as cataract, corneal dystrophy, corneal scarring after injury, teraphin disorder, etc. This is future optometrist Arsalan Mudassar from the Poiran College of Management and Technology proud to be a part of this optometry fraternity as well as dedicated and senior executive member of the optography. If you are new here then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon of this educational channel and if you have any queries feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you everyone.